laser vision. Bendy thumb. Super speed. Blood pants. Force field. Plunger head. Kevin, plunger head isn't a superpower. We're picking the superpowers we'd want if we were superheroes. Super gravity belly. No, no, cool stuff like invisibility or, or sonic blast or, or. <gasps> Jason, Kevin, we need to get the shampoo open in the next 20 seconds or my hair is doomed. Ooh. Kevin, that was super. You're my hero. Okay, scratch super gravity, Billy. But that bendy sum sure came in handy. Looks like you've had enough of these. Mmm, but I could use a little more. Let's sing a little song. With eight little words about a rocket ship and flightless birds. Sigil! The attractive gravity team? Who? Gravity team. Here's to another five hours of comic bliss. Can't get enough. I have a closet full at Grandmom's house. Was that you? Eat sugar frosted black holes. You'll never get enough. Sounds good to me. Who get milk? <gasps> For the love of herring, would somebody please turn off that infernal noise? Yes, Captain. There, that's better. Now I can hear myself think. Wait, I don't hear anything. Doctor? Yes, Captain? Prepare the grappling hook. Yes, Captain. And realign the targeting thingy. I want to grab him on the first try. Yes, Captain. Yes, Captain, yes, Captain. Is that all you can say, mister? No, Captain. I can also say deoxyribonucleic acid and riboflavin. Excellent. If I ever need a salad, I'll know who to call. Mitchell! Yes, Captain? Oh, no, not you too. Uh, yes, buddy? It's <laughs> Captain to you, mister. <sighs> you just keep your flipper to the metal. For as my hair is my witness, this time the evil cavitus will be mine! <laughs> you penguins think you're so smart. Well, I'm smarter, faster, and doggone it, people like me! Some people like me. My mother likes me. The point is, there is a big gassy nebula just ahead, and when I reach it, I will make yet another amazing... What was that? That was the catch of the day, Doctor. Reeling him in, Captain? No, I will not go backwards into that good ship! Thrusters at full power! Uh, 
He's putting up quite a fight, Captain. Woohoo! Is that Cavanus? You captured Cavanus? I'll get it. Hello, UFPS Rockhopper at your service. Cadet Michelle speaking. Well, Michelle, how are you, my dear? Great, Admiral Strap. Thank you. How may I direct your call today? Oh, listen to you. So efficient. Yes, well, are the boys handy? They're right here, sir. May I speak to them, please? You're on. Go ahead. Well, thank you, Princess. Penguins, listen up. Oh. Uh, right here, sir. Penguins, stop whatever you're doing. But, sir, we've hooked. This is an emergency, Penguins. We've received a distress call from Planet Gut, and I want you boys and girl to check it out, Prono. Your little fishing trip can wait. But, Admiral, we've hooked. Well, what then? What have you caught that's so important? Apparently nothing, sir. That's better. Now get to Planet Gut. Admiral Strap out. You and your super gravity belly. Yummy. So sorry, crew. We were this close to finally getting Cavitus. Maybe even this close. Actually, probably more like this. Hey, Jason, look! This is just a bunch of space junk from Cavitus's ship. Breakfast! Not just any breakfast. Those are sugar frosted black holes! And strawberries! And milk! A complete nutritious breakfast. Permission to retrieve the complete nutritious breakfast, sir! Yeah, yeah. What? Oh, breakfast. Permission granted. Oh, wait! There you go. to be some disturbance in the force. <gasps> Let me finish. In the force of gravity. <sighs> All right then, last one to the Chancellor's office is a rotten, uh, thing. Wait, Captain. My instruments are going bonkers here, look. This increased gravitational field is most unusual. Should I take the ship back up into a standard orbit until we know what we're dealing with, Captain? Huh? Yes. I was just going to suggest that. Um, orbit. Doctor, you're with me. May I come with you? All right, then. We're off to see the Chancellor. The wonderful Chancellor of... Um... Gut. Coming! Who is it? Uh... Two penguins and a recruit here. Two pizzas and a root beer? Come in, come in. Oh, the more the merrier. Actually, Mr. Chancellor... Would you like some pizza yourselves? Have a slice! Or two! Um... Another slice for me, you say? Couldn't possibly. Watching my figure, you know. Just kidding! <laughs> but only five more. Now that's a surplus of leftovers. Too much of everything. Sir! We received your distress call. Um, give that. Oh, 
I'm glad you're here. The clocks are all going crazy. That's it? Just the clocks? Hey, we have these on the ship. Oh, we just discovered those the other day. The whole planet's crazy about them. And of course, I can't seem to get my fill either. <laughs> yes, they seem to have the same effect on some of our crew. Captain, I believe I can fix this disturbance as simply as recalibrating this master chronometer. Well, that's just Jim Dandy, Doctor. Um... He's going to reset the clock. This should only take a minute. Can we play while we wait? Of course. Can I play them all? Naturally. This one? Yes. And this? And this? And this? Absolutely. Affirmative. Positively. Wait a minute. Something doesn't seem right. I mean, this is a lot of games. What's wrong? I mean, I just keep expecting Sol to pop in and give us a lesson or something. Well, I don't see old Sol around. Me it first! Oh, <laughs> this is gonna be yeah. great! Yeah, let's see what it does! That's it, Kevin. It's empty. And I'm way full. <laughs> but I want more! 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 I know where we can find more. Rock Hopper to landing team. We're in orbit, but it's not easy to stay here. The gravity is acting crazy. But Saul, you own a restaurant. You know how to get all kinds of food. <laughs> I don't know, Jason. This seems like gluttony to me. If you find honey, eat just enough. Too much of it and you will become sick. No, not honey. Sugar-frosted black holes. No, Jason. It's a proverb. If you find honey, eat just enough. Too much of it and you will become sick. That's gluttony. I don't want gluttony. I want more. You need to stop when your body says enough. Gluttony means eating or doing something to excess. Too much of anything, even good things, can be unhealthy to you if you don't learn moderation. Moderation? Well, that means don't eat just because there's food around. You have to know when to stop. You have to say, enough. What if the food's really good for you? Well, too much of anything isn't good for you, no matter what kind of food. Hey! Saul! Saul! Uh, uh, hold on a tick! Whoa! I think I see the problem, Doctor. The planet has been affected by a strange supergravity force field. Goodness, I believe you're right. And the shape of the planet is changing the lengths of the days and nights. I don't think resetting the clocks is going to help, Doc. That may be the least of our problems. Vortex approaching the planet. Uh, thanks, Mom. Destruction no, no, is no, no, imminent. No, 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 no. Please, Doctor. I want more. Mr. Chancellor. Can't talk now. Very busy. Say, you wouldn't happen to have any milk, would you? Destruction is imminent. Destruction is imminent. Rock up at a landing party. The ship and the entire planet of Gut are both in immediate danger of being sucked into the infinite black nothingness of a massive whirling gravitational vortex. Uh, please advise. Over. Mitchell, I tried realigning the chronometer, shifting the density variables, and rebooting the scanner. I've even tried spelling gravity with two E's, but nothing worked! Engines! 
giving out must have more power! Joy soon. Jason! 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 Kevin! Get off of me! <laughs> you and your super gravity belly! Ugh. Sorry. Contains 1,005% of recommended daily supply of gravitational sugar. Gravitational sugar! This cereal increases gravity! Everyone is getting heavy! It's affecting the gravity! Sugar? Like honey? Wait, Saul said if you find honey, eat just enough. Too much of it, and you will become sick. That's it. No? No, we've had enough. Wait, that's better. Mitchell, we need to dump these boxes into the vortex. They're what's increasing the gravity. And we've had... Enough. You got it. Hold on to something. I'm going to jettison these boxes. Isn't that being a litter bug? I mean, litter penguin? Litter bird? No, the vortex will vaporize the boxes. <laughs> See? It's like a giant garbage disposal. It worked! Tell the captain! 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 It's a cereal! Get rid of it! Stop eating the... Jason, the captain can't hear you. He's mesmerized by the video game. Video games? I have an idea! Mitchell, can you patch the fizzy screen to the whole planet? Can do. In three, two, one, you're on! People of the planet Gut! Eating too much is increasing the gravity! We've got to stop! Just say you had enough and toss out the cereal! Eating so much has made us gluttons! And now the planet is sick! Pay attention to your body! It's telling you that you're full! Just say enough! 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 Quick, throw the cereal into the vortex where it belongs! We've got to show some self-control! <laughs> Oh. He's right. Too much of anything cannot be good for us. I've had enough. 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 Jason's right. Too enough. much of anything enough. is bad. Enough. Even good stuff. Enough. Even video games. <laughs> <laughs> Another pretzel? <laughs> <laughs> that, uh, that's actually not funny. <sighs> Nothing like a spot of hot tea in the afternoon. I love tea time. Well, I do too, Miss Pretty Pretty. I am Super Ultra Boy. I have laser eyes, super hearing, sonic blast, hyper time warp. Cosmic! Yeah, yeah, Jason. Uh, Super Ultra Boy. So many powers. What happened to too much of a good thing? Oh, yeah. Good point, sis. How about the power of balanced meals and exercise? Now, that's a superhero a grandmom can like. And for my two little superheroes, I have a special surprise. 
Grandmom's marshmallow cereal baked sticky treat. Yummy at tea time. Uh, you know, Grandmom, I think I've had enough cereal for one day. Maybe later. But thanks. Me too, Grandmom. Oh, and here I thought I'd have to tell you you could only eat one before bedtime. But when you've had enough... Then that's enough! <laughs> well, well. Jason Conrad, are you eating what I think you're eating? I know. I've had enough sweets for one day. Grandmom said only one. If you find honey, eat just enough. Remember? I'm just holding it. This is for tomorrow. And here, I brought one for you, too. Thanks. I'll save mine, too. We both had enough sweets for one day. <laughs> 